Hello, my name is Sarah Rodriguez and I am one of the creators of the film opening Vanished. The second creator of this opening film was Samantha Pierre. We both directed, produced, and edited this film opening. Vanished is a film opening of three friends who go to the library to study for their test. However, things don't end up going as planned when their friend ends up getting kidnapped and suddenly vanishes. The film Vanished is located in the mystery genre, using sound as one of the main components to convey that message. We chose this genre because we wanted our film to convey a sense of suspense and to leave the audience wanting more. This film portrays three adolescent girls who decided to go to the library to study and gossip about school. However, one of the characters decides to go alone to search for a book and ends up being presumed dead and vanished. She was taken by an unidentified suspect while her two friends were left at the crime scene, making them get interviewed. We challenge product conventions by showing an all-female cast. Typically, when witnessing a mystery drama film, films include the protagonist or the villain as a male, not a female, which is why we decided to include a female-only cast. By doing this, it changes how the genre is usually shown. Like I have said before, every common mystery film either has the man as the killer or as the protagonist. Two of the protagonists have the same names as in real life, while the protagonist that disappears goes by the name Eva in the film. We did this to differentiate the character that disappears from the others. We, repre we represented some social groups by showing a group of adolescent teenage girls and what is the daily life of many students. Also, we also, we also showed that how many of them don't focus in class and are extremely interested in school drama. Not only that, but it represents what teenagers go through at that age. If I were to actually make the entire movie, we would target the young adult and adolescent audience as I believe that the film would have a greater effect on them. I would post information about our film on social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Since almost every teenager constantly looks at these social media platforms. I would also broadcast our film on streaming devices like Netflix and HBO Max, since those are some of the most popular streaming services. Not only that, but they mostly focus on films and media that are suspenseful and mysterious. They will also be shown near popular films, since they normally organize their films by genre, not by popularity. Before starting the process of filming, we decided that we wanted our film to be focused more on the shot and the sound, which we believe would develop a more suspenseful effect. This then led to us deciding that our film would only have the necessary amount of dialogue. However, as we further dived into the filming process, we realized that we needed to add more dialogue. We needed to do this because without it, the film would not convey the direct message and meaning. We found out that without it, the audience would not understand what is happening. Throughout this process of filming, we had some ideas that worked and some that didn't work. This greatly helped us learn about the, our directing, filming, and editing skills and how we can improve them over time. We tried editing on a professional editing app called Adobe Premiere Pro. While this seemed very easy and simple at first, it was pretty hard and chaotic, which led us to changing the editing app. We ended up using CapCut for our film. CapCut helped us a lot and was a bit complicated at first, just like Premiere Pro. However, unlike Premiere Pro, we were able to get the hang of it eventually. We ended up using copyright-free audio audio on YouTube to interact with our audience by using intensive sound to convey the message of suspense and fear. This helped us create tension and fulfill the mystery of the film with ominous tones. We mostly use this intensive and mysterious audio to signify that there is someone following one of the characters. This helped us know that the character is not safe or alone. We did this by using drastic dark filters that let the audience know that there is not a happy genre and it is a film in which the character is in a troublesome situation and anything could happen. We use certain camera shots to emphasize a certain message. Let's use the flower for example which you use as an extreme close-up of the flower and a tracking shot to symbolize that the character isn't safe and that she is being followed. As I have said before during the process of filming there were many ideas that we use and we did not use. For example, one idea we didn't use was that we were going to film at the school library. However, when we went inside, we noticed that 
the library shelves were too small, so we ended up going to another library. Another idea that was not used was that the killer would use a red dress to signify that the villain is constantly committing crime, leaving a special signal or sign to signify that it is them. One of something that we did do though was that we we made the character that just appeared dress in white and the villain just dress in black. We did this because we wanted to signify that the that the um, character that disappeared was innocent and we wanted to um, show that the villain had like bad intentions one of the shots that we used the most was the establishing shot was con- which constantly helped us of the film one of my favorite parts of my film is the beginning in which the title and credits appear while the other girls appear to be getting interviewed. I liked how well we transitioned everything with the editing app. Overall, the directing, producing, and editing was challenging, but it was good to have learned all the skills that I didn't know before. I've learned about a diff- about the different camera angles and which work best at certain moments, how to edit and join together a variety of clips while also adding music, and many other elements. I made a variety a variety of mistakes for this project, but I ended up learning from them. However, I am overall satisfied with the final project product of our film and sad to see it come to an end.